my eye on the price. I keep my gifts as a job. Which populations in the Middle East are the most genetically similar to the ancient Israelites? The ancient Israelites were a Semitic people who fundamentally shaped the concept of monotheism. Originating in the Levant during the Iron Age, both the Jews and Samaritans claimed descent from them. In this video, we are going to conduct a DNA and historic analysis to understand who these ancient people were from a genetic perspective. The sites of Abel, Beth Maka, and Megiddo have played a very important role in the archaeology of the Levant. Both of these sites are mentioned in the Bible and have been home to human habitation dating back to the Bronze Age. Two fossils found within these sites date back to when the historic Kingdom of Israel ruled, and on this basis the archaeogenetics community has labelled these samples as being Israelite in origin. These samples, although similar, display genetic variants. Thus, from the very onset of this video, before we dive even deeper, we can ascertain that the Israelite DNA is not a monolith. Over here I've got a Stone Age ancestral breakdown of the average Iron Age Israelite, and interestingly So we've heard in Hadith that they would tell us things that our forefathers have never heard before. We've never heard of an Atufian in our scriptures, in our texts, in our historical books or records. So they're telling our story and now implementing new names for, we don't know who they're talking about. And this is being accepted as scholarship today. This is a travesty. And we have to recognize this as a tribal people. We cannot make up names with modern racial constructions today and recreate and reconstitute the fundamental basis of our identity, our tribal identity. So this is what we're up against um, in the Abrahamic community, specifically those of us who are blood relatives of the house of Israel. We see other people telling our story and then changing the images of our appearance, changing our ethnicity, which ultimately changes the reality and the perception in people's minds about who we are. And it sows the seed of confusion. We have to understand modern racial constructions and ancient racial realities are two different things. And so we have to tell our own story and that's the only remedy to this problem. We have to tell our own story. All of our information exists, it's there. Uh, it's been published by multiplicitous authors, researchers, journalists, it's now time for us to tell our story so that we can represent our own identity correctly in the eyes of the world. This is all part of the resurrection of the blood house of Israel, the physical descendants of the house of Israel, the inheritors of the house of Israel. So this is a very important step in national identity is we must begin to tell our own story. And we also have to push back when we see misrepresentations of ourselves circulating on social media.